My dear people, happy Christmas. Uh, this is a repeat of the homily of the Christmas uh, night mass that was broadcast. Because of certain technical difficulties, uh, it was not perhaps quite as clear in the sound as we would have liked. We had to reposition cameras to get a view of the underneath of the altar where the crib is. And all of this involved it quite complicated alterations of our normal arrangements. So just in case you want to clarify uh, in a simple way what uh, I tried to say in the Christmas night homily for the Kent Estuary Catholic Churches, I do so now and send it up as a little offering. In this homily, I reminded us we celebrate the coming of the Prince of Peace into our anxious world. The world seems darkened somehow at this moment with the threat of the pandemic hanging over us and uncertainty as to this coming year of uh, 2021. So I mentioned that gathering together for this Christmas is difficult and hedged around with rules and regulations. Whatever tier we're in or so on can alter our freedom of movement, for example. Many are travelling to meet family, but with a certain fear and anxiety. Am I doing the right thing? In a different way, it was just as anxious for Joseph 2,000 years ago. He had to return uh, to his hometown of Bethlehem because he was of the royal house of David and he had to return there on the order of the Roman occupation forces, the Roman governor, uh, to complete a census at his hometown of Bethlehem. Uh, Mary was heavily pregnant with the child Jesus. The travel must have been exhausting. Bethlehem was overcrowded. All were weary. There was no room at the inn. And they had to put up in a stable. But, but in all this upset came something beautiful, serene. All stops when a child is born. And we must understand that the world was the same then as today. And Christ is the same today as he was then. We now stop, we pause, we think as we look on the stable scene. Perhaps you've got a little crib in your house. Look at it and ponder. We imagine the occasional movement of the animals in the background, but there is utter peace there in the stable. A young mother looks tenderly upon her newborn infant child. Those tiny little hands and feet, how beautiful. The deep peace refreshes the soul, like the dew falling almost secretly on the ground. Like the dew, the blessing of God falls on the ground, which is our souls. Here is a little Christmas story that I gave for the Midnight Mass about the peace of Christ in war-torn Europe. I ask you to see a ruined church on a clear starry night in the country just after Christmas. The roof has been severely damaged and the moon shines through onto the altar which is revealed. Under the altar is a crib, undamaged. A young soldier, a British soldier, stumbles into the church. 
he's separated from his comrades in the turmoil of battle. Before the altar stands another young soldier, this time a German soldier. He too has been separated from his unit. He is alone. He has lit up a candle which flickers in front of the crib under the altar and he stares at it. They both raise their rifles towards each other in panic and fear. And then two young men, two lads, a shy smile creeps over their faces. Both of them lower their arms. Two young men recognise each other not as the enemy but as a person. Both were lost and alone. Both had sought sanctuary as it were in this church, this ruined church, from the horror of war. And some, somehow, in the presence of the crib, all hostility seems inappropriate. They stood awkwardly for a moment, both looking at the crib illuminated by the cam candle and the moonlight. Then one started singing, Silent night, Oh, holy night. And in response, the young German remembered Christmas nights with his family. And he responded, Stille Nacht, Heilige Nacht, Ole Schlaf. They stood silent a moment together, all fear of war banished in this haven of peace. Then shyly they offered a hand to each other and went out their different ways into the night. They went out into the war and fear and anguish and possible death but they carried within them the peace of Christ if we wish Jesus will come into our uncertainty and anxiety whispering the word peace as he came to those two frightened young soldiers a deep peace that the world does not know God speaks through the prophet in that night mass reading. The prophet says, The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. On those who lived in the land of deep shadow, a light has shone. You have made their gladness greater. You have made their joy increase. They rejoice in your presence. For there is a child born for us, a son given to us. And the name they give him is Mighty God, Prince of Peace. Wide is his dominion in a peace that has no end. And so again, I wish all of you who might be listening to this broadcast a peace, a blessing of Christmas. May Christ's peace come down upon you and remain with you throughout this coming year. God be with you, close to you. Amen. <laughs>